What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I want to huge shout out to all subscribers out there. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, 2022 is coming to a close. We just have one more event for the year and that's Daytona Cart Week. Um, SSKC went really well. Uh, the Daytona, the uh, 12 hours of Orlando went really well as well. And then the six hours of Jack. So we've done some endurance racing, some sprint racing, uh, all in the mix. I've been on rental chassis, I've been on the TB, I've been on the MGM. But this video is going to be uh, the question that everybody's been asking me. What do I feel about the Tilson engine? All right, so it's going to be Tilson versus 206. Uh, this is my honest review on both the engine packages and what I think. Uh, first, what you get in the box, right? Let's start off with the Briggs. The Briggs, you get... Um, your basic essentials you get everything except for what's not attached is uh, the muffler system and a couple of odd-in things not much so you really just have to attach the muffler the fuel pump uh, connect some lines and you're done um, I think it took less time to put together the Tilliston though because uh, really for the Tilliston you just attach the uh, intake manifold carb and muffler that's it uh, it was just less time. What I like about the Briggs is um, basically nothing's real like super tight and hard to get to. Uh, what I mean by that is the, uh, the car bolts are uh, easy to get to. Um, I like the bolt system they use. They use an actual like bolt and nut. Um, I don't like that the, that the manifold is attached to the head. So you might be, you could strip out the, uh, those, um, screws going into the head i haven't happened i haven't done that yet it could happen uh you could lose one of the screws uh someone last weekend did lose a um, a manifold bolt so you could lose one of the screws and it could ruin your race um for the exhaust i wish they had studs but you can put studs in that's in the rule book so there's things i would change to make it better but you get what you get on the tilson side uh, same thing. I do like how they have the exhaust already studded. I like how the uh, manifold studded. I don't like how the carb is screwed in to the manifold. And the hard part is it's really, really difficult to get one of the bolts in there. You have to use like a wobbly um, Allen head to get the bolt really started and in there. And if you mess that up, you got to replace the little intake manifold. I don't know if there's in the rules that you're able to drill through, uh, through the side and make it to a bolt. You got to look at the rule book for that. Uh, don't know if that's in the rules or not. Okay. 206. Uh, basically, put some oil in it, give some fuel. A couple pulls, fire it up, you're good to go. Um, we've run it multiple times for multiple 24-hour uh, events, 12-hour events, 4-hour events, 6-hour events, sprint racing. Um, at least in my... I've had a lot of luck with, with engines, so... I get one out of the box, put one on the cart, and you run two tenths of like five of them from the box. And I've done testing when Miguel bought a motor, I bought a motor, Gay bought a motor, Chris bought a motor. We've all taken them out of the box. We put them on one cart run the same day, and they're all usually within two tenths of each other. Uh, one will feel a little better on the bottom end, uh, one will feel a little better on the top end, but it two tenths that's basically it uh um they're easy to start up that's that's my biggest complaint on the tilson side this jesus trying to get that damn thing fired up it's such a damn hassle um it is i don't know one of the worst things that they need, they need to fix um on the tilson side uh once you get it warmed up it's not too bad to fire up and get going uh it really isn't that bad I really didn't mess much carb setting or valve setting. Uh, just basically put in the valves and the carb setting or what they, Tilson recommended and just ran like that. Um, for the for basically my my overall thoughts on on the Tilson package, um, yes, it made it twelve hours, okay. But at the same time, it was geared to stay off the limiter, so it was not geared to go full beans. What I mean by that is we ran the same we ran a little bit slower than 206s for this endurance race. 
And in a regular race, of course, it's like 1.6, 1.7 tenths faster in Orlando from 206 to Tilson. So it should have been much faster, but since we geared it so low to stay off the limiter so it can make that race, I think that's why Orlando did it, so we didn't have any issues of making it. The, uh, it brought up other issues. Um, clutches were burning up if you didn't gear them really, really low so they wouldn't slip. Uh, Hillier clutches were being burned up left and right. Uh, I ran a Stinger clutch, but my engagement was stupid low. I put it at 2,600 RPMs. Um, and then someone ran a dragon skin that made it five laps. <laughs> so basically that's how, that's how it worked. Um, power wise, the motor, even when you put gearing, that's supposed to be that, that, that gearing that you let, let, let eat the rev limiter, the motor coming out of the hole doesn't feel much stronger than a 206, to be honest, where the Tillerson shines is around 5,200 RPMs. From 52 to 5500 RPMs, that thing it's like turbo lag. That's all all the guys that all the guys that ran it. That's exactly how we felt. It was like turbo lag. Once the boost came into power, that bad boy was trucking. That it started to move. It really started to go. So coming out of the hole, there's not much of a difference. Uh, I know you guys are gonna freak out, but uh, Homestead practice. They let us all go out there at the same time. Uh, you're gonna see. Uh, us coming out of the hole, we're basically right in line with the Tilstons. And then once they start picking up power around 5,500, they just, it just goes. There, there's no, no denying that that motor has way more power than a 206. Um, on a high speed track, track with long straightaways, I would say like Newcastle, NOLA, um, Amarillo, um, GoPro, tracks that you're just revving it out the whole time it's going uh tighter tracks you're not gonna see that big of a difference i would say like orlando um i know there's a lot of tighter tracks up north there's tighter tracks uh but really in the south there's not not really not thinking about much uh depending on what uh, layout anderson does pk motorsport does um tighter tracks you're not gonna see that much of a difference you're not, not gonna see it really run out <laughs> All right, will I ever move to Tilson Racing? At the moment, the answer is no. And it's not due to cost, not due to the engine, it's, it's due to quality control. Uh, we tested out three different engines and got three different power levels. Uh, our motor was really, really strong on the top end, but not that strong on the bottom end or mid range either. Um, one of the others was really good in the mid range and the other one was pretty dang good on the bottom end, but we've taken them out of the box onto, uh, onto the cart, same day, same everything. And there is literally a second difference in the engines. That's the only part that I am just, I don't want to lose due to engine. All right. I want to lose due to being out tuned or out driven. Um, Let's, I'm gonna put it like uh, I haven't really uh, SSKC. I did not lose because of engine power. Uh, you see, basically, if you look at the final for Sunday, the top guys were all within two tenths. All of them within two tenths. I lost because I didn't tune the cart correctly and put myself in the back. But when we're all tuned correctly, running correctly, engine is not a factor. It's gonna piss off a lot of engine builders, but no matter who you send the freaking engine off to, they basically, when you put it on the cart and goes out on track, maybe a 10th to two tenth difference. I would say a 10th to two tenth of max. Don't get me wrong, there are some motors, like I'm gonna put Stewart engines. They have a crazy top end. How he put his valves and how he sets his carb up, crazy monster top end speed. Compared to the two hundred sixes, my aim uh, AEM motor, amazing bottom end power coming out of the hole. Yeah, that thing's a rocket coming out of the hole. That I don't know, I don't know how he sets it up, but that thing just pulls out of the hole. Uh, other motors have great mid range, so it's all about that. But that the thing is, the racing is still tight. Now, if for some reason the next couple of years 
they tighten up on the quality control and they can put 10 motors out and they'll all be about the same power and the racing being that close, then yeah, we got something to talk to. Do I think it's a great engine package to race at the moment? No. Do I think it's a great engine package to test and practice on? Yes. If you want some more speed and you don't want to run your uh, two stroke out the back and you need a little bit more speed than the 206, definitely the uh, the Tilston package is the way to go. Um, I think that is a great intermediate step and a great uh, cost efficiency for two stroke guys uh, to run um, to run to get better. I think Tilston is a great way to practice on. Um, for me, if you're gonna run two stroke, why not a 100, the KA? Or uh, if you want something that's gonna last forever, um, basically around the same power, and it, I think it's more of a driver two stroke than anything else, uh, I like the Rotax engine. Uh, the Rotax engine, it is a driver's engine. You just can't go to a corner and mash the pedals because it kills the motor. You gotta be easy on the throttle. You gotta let her spool up. I think it's a great uh, engine package. Uh, I've been running Rotax for a while now. Um, I think it's bulletproof. I don't get rebuilt until like 40 hours into it. Um, I think it's a great two-stroke engine package to run. So I, I like the Rotax. Uh, I think X30 is just way too expensive after rebuilds and shifter motors. I don't even know how shifter drivers think after like five laps. So I don't know how you, how you guys do it. Like hold on and pray, I guess. And I think it's just way too much cost for me. So I'm going to stick with 206 because it's inex uh, inexpensive, cheap racing, um, good racing, fun racing. Um, I still think it's in the driver's hand, tuner's hands. Um, I think it's still a cost-efficient sport. Uh, really, when you a club level, 50 bucks plus pump gas, you're looking at getting to location, racing, having a good day, 100 bucks for the for the day, and you're there. A regional level, uh, it's going to cost you around $500, depending if you buy a brand new set of tires. If not, you're looking at 200 bucks plus fuel. And then even at the national level, when you split it up a whole bunch of ways, it still probably doesn't cost you that much. So you can race 206 club all the way to national. It's just an expensive, good racing, good fun, good people. I hope you guys like this review. Uh, and yeah, I think that Tilson's a great package. Uh, at the moment, it's just not for me. Um, if I do race it, I, I do have one. So I might race it for like, uh, maybe some more endurance racing if Orlando holds them or if Orlando does the uh, the ticket uh, to Europe, uh, I might throw my hat in that and try to uh, try to win that trip. But uh, until then, guys, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. If you listen to this whole thing, I know I talked a lot. Uh, overall, uh, I think it is a good step to go up. Uh, from 206 to Tilston if Tilston's big in your area if not just find what's big in your area just you know if you want to move up from 206 if 100's what's up and big in your area um, I still think the top teams out there have I mean they, they spend a lot of money on motors and stuff to get them to get them where they're at and I've seen that firsthand traveling to Texas uh, you can have an amazing driver and um, I'll, I'll say Dylan Town great driver I would say top 15 all day long with the motor that he brought. He ended up getting one of those souped up, really nice Allison motors, top five over j just an engine. So that's that's why I raced 206. I'm just not willing to spend the amount of money to see if I win because I got a better motor. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on track. Hope you liked the video. If you like it, thumbs up. If you like it, thumbs down. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll catch you guys on track.